Good afternoon. Mark Bruno with Incus TV. We are at Printing United Expo 2024, day two, and uh, the Women in Print Alliance luncheon just finished. And with me right now is Lizbeth Lyons Black, who's the director of the Alliance. Hi, Lizbeth. Hi, How Mark. are you? Good Great. to see you. Nice to see you. So we, we go back a little ways, uh, back to your lobbying days in Washington, yeah. right? With, yeah. That was with uh, PIA. Yeah, still yeah. doing a little bit of that, but my focus is now um, just on labor and workforce development, uh, which really dovetails with what we're doing with Women in Print Alliance, because as you know, it's a community building initiative, and it's also a workforce development issue, uh, an initiative. And so you've been, you've been a formal part of the Women in Print Alliance now for a couple of years almost? A couple of years. Yeah. I was really fortunate that um, to be hired. The, you probably know the history of Women in Print Alliance. It was a very grassroots organization. And um, at one point, Printing United Alliance got involved and found it to be a very important initiative mm -hmm. and decided to put the infrastructure behind it, um, create the website, hire the staff, um, and really allow it to flourish. And so, uh, right time, right place. I was very lucky to be able to come on as the director. Yeah, awesome. So I know, I know the past few years your breakfasts have been sold out and now we've migrated to a, to a big luncheon. So how many, how many people were here today and, and was it sold out? Uh, it was not only sold out, it was on a waiting list um, until like the, we had people signing up for the waiting list until about the last hour before the lunch. Um, fortunately, we were able to accommodate everyone. Um, we had a room slated for 200. Um, I think we had about 215 wow. that ended up registering. And the year before, we were at 150. So it tells me we need a larger room for 2025. <laughs> so feed them and they will come. So why, why is it so popular, do you think? Well, what's, I think, what's the feedback? You know, the, the community aspect. And, you know, one of the reasons that Women in Print Alliance was founded was because of events like this, where there are, there are massive events, um, the large percentage of attendees are male. And, you know, we would hear for women, I get on the shuttle to go to the expo, and I'm the only woman on the shuttle. And then I get there, and I'm one of three women in a keynote. And it was just really the opportunity that we saw to be able to facilitate a time, a place, a space for women to literally find one another and spend two hours um, just really networking and building community. And what we've seen is that then translates to them taking that out to the rest of Expo and even beyond, mm -hmm. making new contacts both on the personal and professional level. So that's, I think, why it is uh, and has become such a popular event here. Yeah, yeah. And, and tell us a little bit, Lizbeth, about the new, uh, the new membership initiative, how that's working, and is it, is it currently in effect? Now. Yes, so um, as I said, print, Women in Print Alliance, when it became a formal organization, started um, really as a content provider with a newsletter, a website, and a way to help women kind of facilitate that networking. And what we really heard was, you know, we asked, we're asked how can I join? How can I be more active? How can I get involved? And to us, that was really a demand signal that women were looking to kind of take this to the next level. So on August 1st of this year, we launched a formal membership program. We have three categories of membership. Um, individual women in any segment of the printing industry at any stage of their career, which I think is unique. It's not just C-suite. Right. Um, it's not just apparel or wide format. So it's a very big tent. Um, women can join individually. We have a corporate membership that's proving to be very popular where the company actually becomes the member mm -hmm. of Women in Print Alliance and purchases seats that they then can allocate at their discretion to women in the company that they want to provide a professional development opportunity to. Mm -hmm. And then we're also very proud to have a student membership. And we participated, I spoke this morning to a group of students here at Expo and that category is a, a free membership category. It's really a demonstration of our, our value and commitment to embracing the next gen workforce and making sure that women understand that this industry is becoming more inclusive, is becoming more diverse, particularly on the gender side, and showing them um, through you know, our advisory council examples and through women who have um, done outstanding things in their career that this is an industry where women can thrive and grow. Mm -hmm. So I know, I know you're kind of a visionary, so I, <laughs> I, I, and I know you have some, some big plans of where you want this to go. So tell us a little bit about 
you know, what you're thinking in terms of, you know, is there going to be a mentorship element? Is there going to be a, a job search element? And, and if so, how soon might those things come to fruition? Yeah, well, that's a good question. And I have to say, I, I like to have vision, but wow, I have heard from so many women since we launched, um, even since we launched our membership, of wonderful ideas that are out there. And there's definitely a lot of runway um, for growth and expansion of this program. And in terms of kind of near term, we're looking at introducing a podcast that we would have as a monthly member mentorship podcast, mm -hmm. um, really as a way, again, for younger women or women starting in their careers to see um, and understand the pathways that they can take in the industry. Yeah. I always say we're not accounting. There's not a linear career path in print. Um, there's so many different avenues within a printing company, mm -hmm. so many different segments in the industry. Um, that we really want to provide that kind of those role models so women can see different directions they can take. And so having a, a monthly mentorship podcast, I think, will help us deliver on that. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking to do this, as you said, this, this luncheon has become so, so popular. We would love to be able to do some more regional meetups um, and also continue our virtual programming on webinar topics and workshops. We focus on advocacy, career development, executive leadership, work-life balance, and um, we've actually just started a new topic content category I'm super excited about called business expertise because what we found was we spent a lot of time talking about the experience of being a woman in the printing industry, but there's just as much as talk about as what women are doing in the printing industry and to build that collective knowledge base so yeah, so there's a lot of um, interesting, interesting things on the horizon, and really we just we know that women want the opportunity to get together and network, and as much as we can facilitate that, whether it's in person or virtually, that's our goal. Yeah, yeah. And so la last thing I wanted to ask you is, in terms of, you know, beyond the corporate sponsorships, how can you know your your what you call male allies in the industry yeah. like myself? How can how can <laughs> oh, hello <laughs> how can how can men help the cause, so to speak? Absolutely. Well, I mentioned the corporate membership, and I think that's one way. I just talked to um, a man earlier. Um, it's funny, because he came to my women, the Women in Print Alliance booth, and he said, oh, well, you know, I'm not identifying as a woman today, so I can't help. And I said, actually, you can, because I bet you employ women or you work with women. And by the time he left, he said, that's great. I'm signing up uh, my VP because I'm retiring soon and she's going to be taking over and I really want her to be able to, you know, be supported in this role. So um, really just thinking about as a man, particularly if you're owner of a company, um, what can you do to kind of create that culture within your company, which then translate to the broader industry um, of ensuring that women feel that they have um, both support um, and opportunity within the company. And just having a group like Women in Print Alliance is really a turnkey way for a company to kind of plug in to, or dip their toe in, if that's the case, to what it means to have a more inclusive, um, diverse workforce. Yeah, great, well, we hope your membership explodes and keeps on growing. Oh, we do too. Best of luck at the show. Thank you, Mark. Thanks.